Hi, and welcome to my LinkedIn soapbox for property and real estate investors et al, because it's relevant to everybody. I just noticed you can see Mary Collins' name down the bottom. That's my partner. We live and work together. I'm using her Zoom room for this. Um, I'm going to talk on these next 10 minutes or so about why your beliefs as a property investor, real estate investor, holding you back. Uh, I'm going to show you in the next few minutes, the number one thing holding property investors back from achieving true success or more success than they could. In fact, it's the first thing I take my coaching clients through when I start to work with anybody new. But before I do, uh, click the subscribe button. Um, let me keep you in touch with other videos that I'm publishing here. Uh, and anything you want to ask me in the comment box, um, comment on it. I will personally reply to everything um, and every comment that I receive. Connect with me on LinkedIn. I'm going to touch on that. Um, but you'll see that I have 20,000 connections on LinkedIn. A big chunk of those are real estate, property, investor-centric and associated. Um, you get access to being able to find and network with those sort of people. If you're not on LinkedIn, you're missing a massive opportunity. If you don't connect with me, you sort of need shooting as well. Um, so there you go. Um, click subscribe and let me uh, let me keep you in touch with uh, what else is, is happening. And I want to take you through uh, something I was delivering this recently um, to a European conference of uh, IFAs, financiers, property investors, and I call it the identity iceberg. And I'm going through it fairly quickly, but reach out to me if you want to know more about it. What you we are all looking for is better results. And then you've heard the saying, to get better results, we've got to do something different, something better. It's our behavior we've got to change. Um, I do remember my mom, mom used to say, um, I love you, but I don't necessarily like your behavior. So we've got to look at better behavior. And it's, it's the decisions we make that then leads to the actions that we take that is seen above this iceberg in the behavior that, that we do. And it's below the iceberg that's most, most powerful. Uh, it's below the iceberg that sunk the Titanic, really, if you think about it. But our behavior is dictated by our skills. And the reason I'm so passionate about property as well as investing is for many, many years, well over a decade and a half, uh, I've been working with a great friend of mine, Simon Zucci, who teaches so many skills, so much about property investing. And he says to me, why is it I can teach you everything you need to know about property? One person, one student will go away and get great results. Another won't. And often what dictates our skills is our beliefs. So if you think about it, if my skill is I'm a great cook, what's my behavior going to be? My behavior is going to be, oh, I'll have dinner parties when I have friends around. But if my skill set is not cooking, which mine isn't, guess what happens when we have friends around? It's either in the microwave or it's a takeaway or we go out to the restaurant to eat. So your skills dictate your behavior, but your beliefs are what dictate your skills. And your belief is something that you hold to be true. Does it mean it is true? No, not necessarily. Um, can you change a belief? Yes, rapidly. Um, there will be some people listening who can't believe that it's true that you could walk hot coals barefoot. Well, I've got trainers that have done that and I've done it numerous times. Um, a belief is something you hold to be true, but it doesn't mean it is true. We have empowering beliefs. I'm a great property investor. I'm a great uncle. I'm learning more about property investing to become financially free. I'm leveraging my time through LinkedIn, the most powerful um, platform, I think, in the world. We have disempowering beliefs. I'm not very good at sales. I can't possibly become financially free. I can't find any cheap property deals in my area. I want you to think about what are the disempowering beliefs you have and write them down. A question to ask yourself is where did that come from? I grew up with a belief that I must work hard, must do long hours, must work hard. Where did that come from? My father came out of a mining village, studied at med school. Uh, my uncles around me were all academic. When I shifted that belief to I can achieve success by working smart, I now work a few hours a day. I work online globally. Uh, I've got a VA in the Philippines. I do a lot on LinkedIn. I automate my delivery on LinkedIn. So if you're not, a, one of the beliefs is, limiting beliefs could be, I'm not, I'm not very good with, with tech and with social media. I want you to list the limiting beliefs that you think you have and ask yourself, where did they come from? And then look at what can you do to change those? How can you create more empowering beliefs? because it is the limiting beliefs that hold us back. And it's our beliefs that dictate our skills. Skills will dictate your behavior and your behavior, you'll get better results. 
And so I want you to think about those beliefs because I hear so many in the world, let alone in property. And like I say, I can't find below market value de deals. There's no estate agents going to sell an effective deal to me. There's too many property investors about. I can't find cash. Those are limiting beliefs. You've got to open up your mind to how you can. And I hear so many people saying, I'm not savvy with tech. I'm not, I don't like social media. It's an interesting belief. Why not? You, your belief has to be, I can leverage my time on LinkedIn. I can get to investors anywhere in the world. I can learn how to write a powerful profile that gets me inbound and people approach me. Um, I have a great process on getting your post, your LinkedIn post, massive amount of views. If you're new to LinkedIn, if your limiting belief is, I, I'm no good at it, I can't learn about it. One of the limiting beliefs is it's too good to be true. That is such, such a limiting belief. Um, what if it's good enough to be true? I've been working for 10 years. Um, I've been sat in my house in Spain and I bought this house 50% below market value. People go to me, oh, you can't find cheap properties. Don't tell me you can't do stuff. What's the limiting belief? So if you're not embracing LinkedIn, you are missing out on leveraging your time and getting yourself positioned. If the little voice, that's the limiting beliefs, could be the empowering beliefs, but if the little voice is saying, oh, um, I can't position myself with my real job. I don't like myself in front of a camera for a photo. I can't learn how to write stuff. You need to get hold of my LinkedIn Mastery for Property Investors course that's listed below because I go through this and I go about how to turn those beliefs around and how to position yourself in an empowering way. So I urge you to connect, subscribe here. Um, uh, here's another offer. I've made it recently. If you buy my LinkedIn Mastery for Property Investors course here and you message me and say, I got it because I saw you on YouTube, I will give you unlimited email coaching support while you work through it. It's a whole bunch of videos taking you through how to create a powerful profile and all of the dozen or so things you can do to find deals, find cash investors, grow your property investing. And then at the end of it, we'll have a one-on-one -on -one call. Let's look at what you've done. What limiting beliefs might you still have left? Um, how clear is the plan? Because the thing with LinkedIn is there's so many things you can do. Which ones serve you best? And, and are you comfortable with what you're doing? That's how confident I am of that program. I've got so many investors. Uh, I've just had a, an investor. One of the things he did, he said, I messaged somebody in my connections, like you taught me on there, that I've never thought of in the way that you suggested verbalizing it. And he's just come to me and wants to invest at a scale I've never thought of, bigger than I imagined. My belief was such that, that no one will invest that level of money with me. He said, it's radically changed my property investing now. It's just there to be had. So what are those limiting beliefs? What can you do to turn them around? And what empowering beliefs do you need, especially around LinkedIn? Um, I wish you all the best with the property investing. Stay in touch. Like I say, message me here. Um, and I'll see you again online.